Good to have Spence Chekets. You hear him every day on ESPN 700 with us tonight. Spence, my friend, I haven't physically seen you a while, but how are you doing? I'm really good, man. I, as you can see, I need a haircut. The hair's really long, but that's all right. Uh, yeah. We're hanging in. Uh, I'm enjoying myself, and I really i am enjoying this challenge of coming up with different content while games aren't being played. But, look, we're safe. You know, we're, uh, we're practicing smart social distancing. We're staying quarantined. We're yeah. staying inside and, and, um, and washing our hands, disinfecting surfaces, and doing the things that uh, we're asked to do so we can get back to normal as soon as possible. And you're actually going into the studio, so you have to be very careful. you got a lot of guests every day, just like we do, rotating people through. Can you, what's, what's the attitude and the sense of most of the guys that you've had on? So it seems like everybody is um, on the same page when it comes to doing what we've been asked to do by medical professionals, the people that are in charge, community leaders. Um, the nice thing about the studio is that it's literally just Brady and I, and even with just the two of us, yeah. my producer, uh, we practice social distancing. He's in the producer room. I'm in the studio. Um, no one else is in the office. Um, and then I go home at night. I, I come in contact with maybe one or two people all day long. But um, whether it's Jeff Van Gundy or Frank Isola or Ryan Rossillo or whoever it is, um, everyone's pretty much on the same page that basketball, uh, sports, uh, all secondary to public health. And uh, we're having a good time trying to come up with content and come up with creative ways to discuss certain storylines, but we're all anxious to get back to uh, normal living, but that's wow. not going to happen until we all do our part and make sure everybody's safe and, and good and taken care of. Very well said. Now, there are some sports things to talk about, and I got a few topics for you. Number one, really quick, your thoughts on Justin Zanuck. So here, the Jazz promote him to, you know, to try to keep him with the Jazz. I believe he interviewed with Philadelphia last year. Now, they've given him permission to interview for the Bulls. What do you think about what's going on with this with this talented GM? So let's let's be very clear. If he gets this job offer, he's going to take it. Uh, this is uh, this is one of those creme de la creme great jobs, once in a lifetime opportunities. Because it's not my understanding, Dave, and I've talked to a couple of people this afternoon. It's not a general manager job. It is the top basketball um, executive job in the organization. So think like what Dennis Lindsay is for the Jazz right now. Justin would yeah. be that for the Bulls. Now, he's a Northwestern guy. His wife is from Milwaukee. They have Midwestern ties. And Chicago and New York are the two greatest basketball cities we have in this country. Um, Jerry Reinsdorf, the owner, pays his executives top dollar, gives them the tools they need to succeed. It is a basketball city that is starving for a great team. It's been a number of years since they had that. So... Um, I hate to say this, but if he gets that offer, Dave, he's going. Now, they're going to interview other candidates, um, but the fact that Justin was kind of the first and at the top of their list would indicate that he is definitely a high priority. Um, so I hope that he stays because he's really talented and very smart, and I appreciate my relationship with him. But if Jerry Reinsdorf decides he wants to write a check to Justin Zanuck, Justin will take that job. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Good arguments there. Hey, i got to ask about this NBA 2K tournament. Donovan Mitchell already eliminated in his first game, but what do you think about that? Have you watched it at all? So um, I've caught a few highlights when Durant, uh, Kevin Durant, and I believe Derek Jones Jr. were playing. My show was actually going on, so we had it up in the studio. And I caught a couple of highlights between Don Donovan and Rui Hachimura, and I'll tell you what I loved is that it really embodied Donovan's competitive nature. You could tell that he was stopping himself from throwing his controller through the TV after <laughs> Rui beat him. So, look, it's not basketball, but it's, it's kind of a fun little secondary thing. And, and you know, Donovan um, does a lot of Twitch streaming for his Xbox stuff. So if you want to watch Donovan play video games, you can. But ultimately, these guys want to win, whether it's ping pong, basketball, or, or 2K. So I, I think it's kind of fun. You know, don't take it too seriously, but it's kind of fun. Yeah. I know you're not an NASCAR guy, but do yourself a favor and watch a couple of minutes of one of their weekly races. That is amazing. Yeah, that's my problem. Um, yeah. Let's Good. talk. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk uh, RSL for a second. This is cool. Robbie Russell, of course, he scored that winning goal back in 2009, the PK that where RSL won the MLS Cup. He is now an ER doctor. He visited with David James last night on Talk Sports in Virginia. And Spence, he is right in the thick of the coronavirus and, and doing his part 
What do you think about yeah. what this man has become and what he's doing? It's not surprising at all. Um, when Robbie was here, it was only a few years, even though he scored the final PK goal to win it. I think Robbie was here for maybe two, two and a half years. Uh, an absolute gentleman, very well spoken, uh, very articulate. And he often spoke about his desire to get into medicine after he was done with soccer. Um, so I'm not surprised to see this at all. Uh, just, it, very, very uh, excellent soccer player. He was one of the linchpins uh, that really solidified that, that, that defense and that midfield. And then the fact that he was the guy that stepped up and nailed the final PK, he will always have a place in RSL history and a soft spot in my heart, certainly. But Robbie used to speak often about his desire to help people when he was done playing soccer. So I'm not surprised about that at all. Little known Robbie Russell fact. Um, I'll never forget. He showed up at an RSL practice the day and, and he was like glowing about the fact that he saw Adele the night before and his teammates obliterated oh. for him. He took, he took like so much crap. He, he kept, <laughs> and he was tweeting about how much he loved Adele and like Beckerman yeah. and wing and those dudes, they, they were killing him. But um, Robbie's a great guy, very smart. Not not too surprising that he's doing what he's doing. I got to admit, I don't mind her either. But you're right, he is a great guy right there sure. on the front line. Spence, we're, we're going to wrap up here. I want to give you the last word, but I got a, uh, something I wanted to mention too. There was a video that came out last week uh, showing apparently a bunch of kids down in Orem playing volleyball. The governor saw it, did not like it, drew a lot of reaction. What is your message to what last two weeks ago your message was about toilet paper? What do you have now when you see something like this? Well, look, I don't get what these people aren't getting. It's so puzzling to me because essentially we all want to be doing what they're doing. And the reason why people like me are upset at people like them is that I want to be out playing volleyball. I want to be out hanging out with my friends. But in order for us all to be able to do what they're doing, we all have to adhere to the guidelines that medical professionals and people that believe in, oh, I don't know, science are actually telling us to do. So when it comes to social distancing, wash your hands, six feet apart, quarantine, just do all the things we're being asked to do so we can all get back to normal. And I don't get what people like that are not getting. That's all I'm saying. Spence, you're the man. I always appreciate it. Hear him every day on ESPN 700 from 2 to 6. Let's check in again here in a couple of weeks. Have a good one. Stay safe, my friend. You too, Dave. You too. Best to you and the family.